Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I am going to show you how I am prepping my All About Reading Level 4 for our third grade year. Now I have done this in the past for Level 3, but I am doing it a little bit different this year. If you want to see Level 3, I'll put that right up here, that way you can go check that out. But I am wanting to save myself even more time this year, and so I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm a homeschool mom to a third grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would love if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. One of the main differences about this year is that I bought my curriculum used this year. I have always bought this new, but I was able to find the whole set for a pretty decent price, probably about half off, which really adds up when you look at the whole scope of everything. But it came with the cards, so I didn't have this step this year. If you buy the entire set, you will have to take apart all of the cards. And honestly, that is time consuming. So you will definitely want to do that. If you don't do anything else to prep for any level of All About Reading, do this. I also have always went ahead and used the box. It just fits perfectly and it's just really convenient to have it in a box. You do not have to have the box, but you do want to separate these. And I also have really appreciated having these. I think that was a good purchase for me anyways, because I like to have everything sorted out really nicely. Now, in the past, I didn't prep everything completely, but this year I am because one of my goals is that we complete quicker. We get the core subjects done and we get done as quick as we can and that way it leaves time for other things. In the past, I would have, well, for instance, today was our first lesson and I did not prep these. I cut it out because I always thought that this was a good activity to practice for cutting. But you know what? We are in third grade. We don't need to practice cutting so much anymore. And this really is time consuming when you're wanting to get done with your day as quick as possible. How I store everything is I buy a binder, although I do not think this is big enough, but I'm going to see how much I can get in it for this year and get a bigger one if I need to. And then I have purchased a bunch of clear sheet protectors. I bought just the 200 pack from Amazon Basics and they're not the best, but you know what? They do exactly what I need. So this is lesson one or part of it. And so it is completed. I'm actually gonna put that in the back because I don't really need it anymore since we finished it. Now, All About Reading comes with this color edition activity book. This is just an extra sticker from our last one because I didn't get all the stickers with this. Now I'm gonna wanna go ahead and pull out this progress chart. I'm gonna pull out this read aloud record. This was an extra sheet that I really didn't need. You could add in your own review words if you want. And so I will put that with lesson one. Here are some more stickers that we've had. This actually is what was left of my used packet. And then all of these are all of the stickers that we've had from all the other lessons. So we're just gonna use those. Here are a few rules that we are going to need and utilize throughout the whole program. So I actually always put these in the front of my binder because there are multiple times that we will pull these sheets as just a reminder of what we need to be doing as far as rules and what different jobs are. So the main difference this year is anything that needs cut out, I'm going to cut it out ahead of time. I'm gonna have it prepared, I'm gonna put a little clippy in it and I'm gonna put it in the book and that way I am ready to rock and roll. One thing I do wanna show you and I'm quite sure here they are, is word flippers. 
These are also very time consuming and something that I would put together beforehand. I did this even last year because each lesson that have the word flippers have more than one word flipper. So it takes just a little bit of time and that was not something I wanted to take that much extra time in. And so even this year, definitely gonna be putting that together. And so I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna start putting these things together and then I will kind of update you as I go if I find anything different from this. But this year, this is what I'm doing. I'm prepping it all by, I am cutting it all out so that I can literally come to lesson one, get my clear protector, pull it out and have everything that I need to go just like that. I've came to my first flipper, so I thought I would show you how to do these. So I've just got to cut this out real quickly and then I will start stapling it together. You want to be careful when you're going through here because I have accidentally cut the border off before because I get scissor happy, I guess. So you have the one large section of your flipper like here. And everything else will attach. Sometimes they attach on the left side, sometimes they attach to the right side, but you have to kind of make sure you cut properly on these so that they will line up correctly and you can actually see the word all the way. So let me get this finished really quick and then I will show you the end product. They do not have to be in any order, but you do want them to, you wanna make sure that everything is facing the right way. So you don't want any upside down words. <laughs> so double check yourself on that. And then I just take everything to the end here and they give you a little staple mark, so it's not too bad to do. And then I just kind of line it up. It takes just a minute because I like to get it as close to perfect as I can so that when she's looking at the word, it looks like the word. And then you just staple along the staple lines and then she will read faithfully, painfully, bashfully, carefully, and dreadfully and thankfully. So those are all, I think I actually missed one maybe, joyfully, there we are. So that's a flipper. Um, and you will see these quite a bit in All About Reading, and they are a little bit time consuming. So I would definitely, if you're not gonna prep anything else, I would prep the cards and I would prep your flippers ahead of time because these do just take enough time that it's a little bit annoying if you're wanting to do it the day of. I'm gonna keep cutting and I'll see you guys later. All right, I've been at it for about an hour now and I just finished cutting lesson 14. You can see that like here in this lesson, I mean, there's just quite a bit to cut. So it is time consuming if you're doing it all at once, but I think I'm gonna be very happy that I can just pull this out and go. It's a beautiful afternoon, so we're gonna go to the park and then I'm gonna come back and work on this later and I will touch base with you when we get back. See you soon. All right, I am back. So it did all fit in this binder, which I think is probably a one inch binder. That is about as small as you could get. Um, I think I had a larger one last year, which I liked the way that it fit just a little bit better. But I go ahead and I disassemble the entire thing and put it into the clear sleeves so that it's very clear what this is. And now I will be able to just pull every single one of these and have it ready to go. Now there were 60 something lessons, so I did end up stopping around 48 here. And so later I'll just end up putting some more in there, but this will get me going for quite some time. And I just put my little stickers and our progress chart in the back. And then I may just take it like when we're done with number two, put it in the very back like I have this number one and that way it's just always right here on top. The positive things about doing this is if you have multiple children, you are ready to go. You have everything in here for each one. If you want to sell it, you have everything ready. It's all nice and really, really easily used by someone else. So that is why I have always done it so that someone else can get some good use out of this and have it organized really nicely. 
on top of it just being very convenient for me. But I hope that you have enjoyed this. We absolutely love All About Reading. I will put my All About Reading playlist right here in case you want to see any like dual lessons with us or anything like that. But I really recommend getting some sort of preparation going for it because it just makes your life a little bit easier. And for me, I just went all the way and I prepared it all the way this year so that I can literally have an open and go curriculum with this. And you tie this in with their app for their letter tiles and it is so easy you're gonna love it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up consider hitting that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next one bye